Hello, and welcome to this tutorial series on the Core Dungeon Framework. In this series, we will be using the Core Dungeon Framework, which will allow you to create an MMORPG with no coding necessary. In this series, we'll discuss starting the project, the parts of the framework, and the workflow to customize it. Let's get started. To begin, open the Create menu in the Core Editor and select Create New. Choose the Gameplay Frameworks option and select the Dungeon Framework. Give your project a title and click Create. Core Frameworks allow you to begin a game with gameplay functionality and customization available to the creator. To begin, we'll start with a single player preview. If you have multiplayer preview mode activated, deactivate it now by pressing this button. Then press the play button to begin the preview. Your character will spawn in the lobby with several dungeons visible. Let's walk around and see the project now. To begin, we'll see the portal to Core Haven, which allows you to transport to another game from the portal. The example fantasy props are objects with no functionality that can be used to decorate your dungeon. And behind them, you can see the castle tile set, which has pieces that can be used to customize a castle-like effect. The gameplay objects also have functionality in addition to their appearance. This poison cloud does damage. The healing cloud heals the players and potions allow players to interact with them pressing F. There are also doors which can be opened with the interact key. On the opposite side of the lobby is the costumes shop and the weapons shop. Currently as a player, we have zero gold, so we'll start equipping the free costumes. The soldier costume. And the basic one hand sword. Now that we're equipped, we'll enter the first dungeon. Stand on the teleport pad and press F to enter the dungeon. In the dungeon, you should see that there are enemy AIs that begin pursuing the player only when they're able to see them and will attack the player when they get close enough. The dungeons also have other example obstacles and are sequenced to have more difficulty as the player progresses through them. Some enemies can drop loot, in this case, the loot bag, which gives the player coins to spend later in the shops. Each dungeon has a teleporter to return to the lobby and more importantly, a door to fight the first boss. or lose to them. So now you've seen the functionality of a dungeon and we can begin with understanding how this works in the project. Press the equal sign or tab and the stop button to stop the preview. You'll notice that if you press play again, your character still has the levels and coins that they were awarded in the first time. This is because of persistent player storage, so all players in your game will retain their experience and gold each time they connect to the game. Can now spend gold on upgrades. In the next video, we'll discuss what each of the objects in this framework do and how to use and change them to customize your project.